Nigerians are very, very happy. Nigerians are very, very elated that for at this time that the Nigerian football is back to life again. That Nigeria now has, now has a set of very, very disciplined and committed, committed young men that are working very hard to lift Nigeria's, Nigeria to glory. And I want to say this. Nigeria will not, we have not certainly proved, compared to what other teams have received, you know, you, from, that, from their own delegation, you, we have not done everything that you want. But in spite of this, you have given all you have for the good of the country and not just for yourselves. So Nigerians are very, very happy with you. During the first, um, when, when you play the first match, or the day you play the first match, uh, you were all, you had just finished your lunch when I came in. When I came in, myself and um, Amadou Penik met with the coach and the captain. All right. Welcome to Channel Sport on Sunday. I'm Ken Ochonogo. And I tell you, it is the day we've been waiting for. It is what we're expecting, but we didn't get. Is it really what we got? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we got because, yes, I, I, I prayed. I prayed. I didn't want Ghana. I, won't, I don't know about you. I don't know. I don't know about you. But I thought probably we'll get uh, at the Aru Congo or they will give us Mali. I, I said, look, stay. I, I want to stay away from Cameroon. I want to stay away from them. I don't want, I don't want Cameroon. I don't want Ghana either. I don't want Ghana either. And then I don't want Egypt. But then how did it happen? It happened that, yes, this is what we got. They said, Go back to Ghana. <laughs> that is the old rivalry. Go back to the local derby. Go back to the unpredictable. And that is how it is. But we are super eagles. And they will say, uh, uh, this is our time. We've done, it, we've done it before. But then let us prosecute one first. There is one at hand, which is the AFCON. Uh, that is the World Cup going to Qatar, uh, like we say, all in 2022. You remember in 1994, we won the AFCON and we went to the World Cup. In 2013, we, we, we won the AFCON. I went to the World Cup also in 2014. So basically, let us try and win the AFCON first. But that is, where, that, is where, that is what today is all about. Today is about we taking on Tunisia. And it all boils down to who needs it more. Uh, we, 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 we won all our matches in the preliminary stages. Uh, so it means that, yes, today we are there with nine points. But it doesn't matter how you qualify. It is what you do with the qualification that matters. So right there uh, at 8 p.m. today in Cameroon, Nigeria will be trying to march into the quarterfinals. It is not going to be easy, but we are, this, during this show, we shall take some polls. <laughs> we shall take some polls uh, and, you know, and, see, and, uh, and find out what you guys are, you know, how you guys are feeling about you know, our, our, our match against the Tunisians. Um, the uh, Australian Open is out there. And yes, what else? There will, be, there will be a new champion, definitely. Not a new champion. There will be new champions in Australia because, wow, Nami Osaka was knocked out. And then we all know what happened to Djokovic. Nine-time champion, back-to-back-to-back -back -to -back champion. Best one knocked out by just two shots. He missed two shots, and those two shots sent him out of Australia. So there will be a new champion, and a lot of the seats have been tumbling. Muguruza, Muguruza is out. Uh, uh, Gabin Muguruza, uh, he's, he's, he, uh, she, she, she has been beaten and she is out. Uh, just this morning, about an hour or so ago, Alexander Zverev also was knocked out, I tell you, by you know, Denis uh, Shapovalov. So uh, we, these, are, these, are, these are the things that we're going to look at today. We shall also look at the NPFL, uh, a little bit of the EPL, if I uh, you know, go back, go to Europe and see how Southampton were able to stop uh, Manchester City at number 13. To say 13 is a lucky number for some, it's unlucky number for others. But then it was not too lucky and not too unlucky because they got the, you know, they got all the, got the points shared after going 12 matches, straight wins by, you know, by, by uh, Pep Guardiola's uh, Manchester City. So our MPFL, like we say, is also on. Remo, <laughs> they are trying to do what as in the Nigerian Bank, a team that just came from you know, down at Leventis United. And we will look at all those, those days where you just promote a team and they go over there to win the title. Are they title contenders? Can they, can they sustain the momentum you know, uh, as, as, as they travel 
to the east to see what happens today. It is Channel Sport on Sunday. My guys are in the house. Uh, we showed you that clip earlier on. Uh, uh, we'll we take, we take some part of that clip soon. And it's about the Naira rain that has been promised the players. If you score every goal you score, there is a, a price tag, a dollar, a dollar price tag to it. Uh, so it is a price, your, your prize money is always coming up, the bonuses. The winning bonus have to come with the goals you are scoring. So our fans are also sharing over there. Uh, they are doing, they are saying, look, today is a day of celebration. And that is why you can see Nigerian fans doing, you know, uh, uh, getting to the mood. Uh, before 8 p.m. today. So <laughs> they are having the best of fun. Uh, my guys are in the house. They are also enjoying themselves in the studio. Uh, uh, let me start with Yemi. Yemi, you welcome to the show. Ken, good afternoon. Good afternoon, um, uh, viewers. Um, first and foremost, I want to commiserate with um, the Shooting Stars family uh, in Ibad over the loss of uh, the general manager, Mr. Rashid Balogun, yeah. who passed in the uh, course of um, uh, the week. We pray for the repose of uh, his soul. And um, uh, God will grant the family and the entire Shooting Stars team the, family, uh, the fortitude to bear this ir ir irreparable loss. I hope uh, that the players can uh, gather strength and at least remain in the MPFL and not go on relegation this season. Uh, of course, uh, uh, Rashid Balogun, mm. well, I know we, we, had this in we had an interview with him here uh, some months back and then uh, a very insightful interview very forthright individual uh he told us of how the leagues you know how much like like it the things the things he said were not the things you expect from you know uh, especially those who are in management because some of them they keep information away from you but he told us running a nigerian league you need between 300 million to 800 million depending on the budget you know how the budget how the monies are released and stuff i know mean, it is <coughs> one of those uh uh enlightening interviews that you have and that you say yeah, you have learned something from it uh, and, I, and from every, every what I, i've never met him one-on-one -on -one, but from what people are saying about him i just spoke with him just once and from that of course we, we i think we spoke on phones maybe two or three other times but on, on, the, on the show here we spoke just once with him just once mm -hmm. so and I, I i i get to see a guy who has that feeling a man who is who on He's like he's part of shooting stars. He was, Absolutely. He, he was Absolutely. a fan of shooting stars. An experienced administrator. He had, he, had, he had the trust of the players yes. and most importantly the fans. You know, yes. Just last week I spoke about uh, not knowing any other club that slapped their managers more than shooting stars. But for Rashid Balogun, um, he had the trust because even with social media, the fans were just uh, blasting in their, their tribute. So he had the support not only of the players, but more particularly the, the fans. The fans. And you know Ibadan. how difficult about the fans, like, how demanding we can be. Of course, yeah. from the Babylon runs at to Aku. Whichever way you want to call it, 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 it's a game we are passionate about. Absolutely. You know, like, like we are saying, <laughs> let it not be a yo-yo. In <clears throat> honor of Rashid 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 uh, uh, shooting stars. Yes. I want to see because they have the core fans. Absolutely. And if, if Lagos can resurrect, you know, re Lagos, resurrect uh, uh, the Abikus. <laughs> <laughs> they can resurrect stationary stores, stores. then it, it is, it, it is it, all it, well. It, it will be because good. Because they, their fans are diehard. I mean, yeah. diehard instead of positives. Not, uh, uh, but, 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 but for Bender Insurance and stationary stores, are they willing to put in the work like Shooting Stars did? That's a, that's a question for another day, really. Yeah, it's a question for another day. And there are some clothes that will never come back. You started by talking about NNB. Yeah. The bank does not exist anymore. ACB does not exist anymore. The bank, oh, the National bank, those those match The banks now. have all uh, folded up now. So... But even some bank that are still there. Where my bank used to have a... Do they still have No, Wema, I think there was a major Wema National Bank. Mm. But do, do Wema still have... The, the, it's Wema Bank. No, Wema all, bank all banks now all plays banks. Uh, Bankers League. They play at, at the Bankers, bankers League. They only play Bankers League. Mm. They are not Game. big enough to play the National League. No, it, it depends. Right. It depends. <laughs> okay, let's look at it. Let's, let, let's, let's look at it today. Uh, uh, before, before we... Where, where, where do we start from? I think, let, let's take the Tunisian match. Let's take that, let's take that first. And uh, let us feel the pulse. How do, you, how do you think we are going to prosecute this? This is your spit in Tunisia. I, 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 hear, I read somewhere somebody was saying that, you know, uh, 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 some, uh, some teams, you know, got all nine points and were knocked out, and you corrected them and also said something like, in 2010, only one country, only one nation won all their uh, 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 group matches and went on. You know, to leave the trophy, to leave this and one. that was Egypt. Egypt. I mean, so I mean, I, I, let us take it from. So uh, you talked about Egypt, and you can't speak about Tunisia in the same breath. 
Yes, Tunisia, uh, you call them the pathfinder of African football because they actually gave us, after the uh, debacle in 74, where Zahe um, got trashed 9-0, Tunisia came back in 78 and restored the hope and pride of Africa. Got the, uh, the Af Africa's Af first, first victory win, yeah. against uh, the Mexicans, drew against the many champion uh, Germany. Mm -hmm. And from there, we had to slot in 82. So, yes, they've done so well for African football. But Tunisia, you could call them light heavyweight in African football. They've hosted the Nations Cup on three occasions. They've only managed to win it once. So, um, in African football, Tunisia, they are not... Yeah, they've stopped off from going to the World Cup twice. But after that, nothing extraordinary with due respect about Tunisian football. So, Tunisia and Nigeria, uh, we are not on the same wavelength. Uh, if Nigeria happens to be in the heavyweight league, the Tunisian football uh, happens to be uh, in the light heavyweight class. And over time, they've not been too spectacular. Their big victories have been over Mauritania, from the Arab Cup to this Nations Cup. So, uh, Tunisia should not be a team that will post um, any problem to the Nigerian team with the again COVID ravaging the team. But again, this is football where uh, a certain non performing team will just on that day of knockout uh, they come up. But we hope that will not be our own destiny. Yeah, today. Me, uh, so it, 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 it Nigeria, Nigeria want, won our second half yeah, in Tunisia me, in 1994. Let me, uh, that's what I want, to, I want to ask you this. He's talking about Tunisia. Um, Tunisia going back to 1977, 1978 uh, is. Where people like us, we dread the when we hear the word Tunisia, when we hear the name Tunisia, we dread it. I mean, I don't know. So there is a, there are certain phobia that stays with you. Yep. And Tunisia is one of to me. It is. I, I I know we are going to beat them today. I'm not. I'm, I hope I'm. I don't want to say I hope and pray. I know we are going to beat them today. But I'm saying that uh, Tunisia haven't knocked us out. You remember that, that famous. Nigeria has scored. Nigeria, oh dear, you know. It, it, Tarek was with the ball. And then, you know, uh, Ojebode, he has beaten uh, Ojebode. And here, there we go. Uh, Emmanuel Okala anticipated, ran out of his goal line to go and cut the cross. And Odie wanted to help, nodded the ball, wanted to nod the ball gently back to Okala. But Okala already left. And then it went, went into the empty net. And that was how uh, Tunisia in 1977 became uh, the, the only country. Because we have just one, one slot, slot then. There. It was Nigeria, Egypt, and Tunisia, Tunisia. were in that final time. It went to Argentina, 78. I remember I bought a boot. Argent there is a boot I bought, what boot then? I, bought, I think I bought that boot for 18 Naira then. And then it was Argentina, written, boldly written on it. So that, that of course, full year in 78, we're going to host it. You understand? In your third place match, you remember, they worked out. You know, they, they scored. We equalized, and they said, you know, the goal, there was an infringement, and they, they abandoned that match, and that's how we won the bronze. It was awarded to us 2 0. So that rivalry between Nigeria and Tunisia has already been there. But the beautiful thing is that when we won in 94, we won in Tunisia. Sure. They hosted, and we won. How do you see today? So um, we, we won our second in Tunisia in 1994. Yes. They didn't win their uh, continental trophy until 10 years after. Uh, uh, what am I saying in essence? If the, the balance is tipped in favor of Nigeria now, if you, if you look at it. The balance is very, very tipped in favor uh, of Nigeria. And if you look at the, the performances at the group stage, Nigeria going 100%, uh, nine points uh, from the available nine. And um, uh, the team uh, is better in looking at the first round. Although the North Africans very, very unpredictable, you will not, um, uh, you, you cannot just write them off, especially as you get into the uh, knockout stage of this uh, particular competition. But on, on paper, Nigeria is the favorite against Tunisia uh, uh, tonight in uh, Cameroon. Okay, uh, on paper, Nigeria is favorite against Tunisia, and then I'm trying to look, I'm trying to look at the other uh, uh, fixtures that are there. Okay, there is uh, uh, Burkina Faso taking on Gabon. That, mm -hmm. that match will come on first before our match our today. Match. Mm -hmm. And eventually, if we're able to beat or win, I, I don't want to use the word when, when? Uh, when we do, when, 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 when okay. Uh, this, 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 this are the figures. Absolutely. The yeah, figures. Burkina yeah. Faso uh, and Gabon. Uh, nobody gave Gabon a chance, especially in the uh, group C, given the fact that uh, uh, their, their talisman, uh, Obama, Obama Yang, wasn't um, uh, available due to uh, COVID. But a certain um, uh, guy from... Uh, uh, What's it called? France has stepped up and is delivering the goodies for 
uh, Gabon. Let's see whether they are able to still uh, push forward and make something um, out of this. They are uh, probably one of the uh, two lowest ranking teams in uh, this particular uh, competition. So even making it to this uh, uh, round of 16 Sandra, is already an achievement. An achievement. But uh, with uh, also COVID ravaging that particular team, uh, that's, uh, uh, let, let's see what they're able to come up with. Okay, let me go to uh, uh, We have Guinea, Guinea taking on uh, uh, Gambia. The Wafu battle. There are uh, Wafu teams yeah, here. Yes. Uh, <laughs> in fact, if you want to say Echo Wars, because yes. Cameroon is not a Wafu team, but they are in Echo Wars. Echo Wars, okay. Also, Morocco wanted to join Echo Wars. Is that not that state for the economy? That's an economic block. That's an economic block. But for, for we in Wafu, I, I think um, even when the Guineas were losing, you could see um, against the Zimbabweans, see that shot, yeah. the traditional, the trademark shot from uh, the captain Keita. So I don't see uh, the Gambians, they, they've uh, actually punched above their weight. Uh, they've done so well with their coach, uh, Tom Safit. So uh, I give to the Guineans uh, to proceed from that uh, round. Okay, uh, Senegal, Senegal, Cape Verde. Um, uh, Sadio Mani has really not uh, uh, pulled his weight as far as the group stage um, uh, is concerned, just like uh, his Liverpool counterpart uh, for Egypt. That's talking about uh, Mohamed Salah. Salah. But if Senegal is going to achieve anything in this AFCON, I think uh, uh, Sani needs to come uh, to the table. One going three matches for them. Morocco Mali. Morocco Mali. Morocco uh, Malawi. Malawi, sorry. Malawi. Morocco Malawi. Morocco Malawi. <laughs> yeah, Malawi. Yeah, uh, it, if the team does majorly underachieved when it comes to AFCON is the Moroccan um, Atlas Lions. Uh, for all their brilliance at club level, World Cup appearances in 86 and uh, 98, they've only won the AFCON once on home soil. Just once. Uh, but they, they won it twice because, I mean, I, I remember uh, uh, in, in 1976 when, you know, we, we, we came up there with the Babotu Mohammeds and the rest of them all. Uh, that was, it was hosted by Ethiopia. That was when we got our first bronze and Morocco, it was Morocco, and then... Uh, that Mo Mo Morocco it. were actually uh, pre-favorite before <laughs> the uh, competition. Uh, yes, in the absence of uh, ZH, the uh, Chelsea man, a certain man from the Southampton, Bufal, has stepped up uh, uh, his game and is, is doing well. Whether he would be able to continue in that um, uh, stride remains to be seen, but uh, it promises to be... Um, uh, interesting, but of all the picks in the round of 16, the, the, the mouth-watering encounter uh, will be, uh, for me, Egypt uh, uh, versus um, uh, Côte d'Ivoire. Uh, Egypt, Egypt, Côte d'Ivoire. We saw, uh, let, me, let me stick with you, Fabacom. Um, we saw Côte d'Ivoire roast uh, uh, Algeria. <laughs> I mean, that, that the attack of uh, 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 Zaha, Dressler, uh, uh, Pepe, Pepe. Uh, I mean, that, that, that front three looks uh, menace, menacing. Absolutely. Um, uh, and um, uh, Algeria imploded without announcing, G given the fact that they went so many uh, games unbeaten, e even on the, the Arab, uh, what, uh, what was it called? Uh, uh, the Arab, uh, FIFA Arab, Arab Cup. FIFA Arab oh. Cup, yes. where they did so, so well. They, they so beat everybody. You, exactly. You expected them to come to uh, this AFCON with uh, the likes of uh, Man City's uh, Riyad Mahrez and just give teams, <laughs> as in knock teams out, left, right and centre. But unfortunately, they've not come to the party. Côte d'Ivoire, uh, yes, they've had uh, a fair share of their feelings when it comes to uh, AFCON. But like you said, Pepe, uh, Zaha, Zaha Dressler, Dressler they, 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 Champions they, they, League top scorer. Ab absolutely. So they've done so well <laughs> to carry uh, the, the Ivorians on. And um, uh, I, 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 we, see, we have a big match on our hands. That's talking about um, uh, Ivory Coast and Egypt. Okay, there is Mali taking on the third guinea. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this, uh, this is a game we should also watch out for because this is a game uh, they are in a part half of that draw. Yes, so, uh, exactly. Senegal, Mali, uh, once we can overcome uh, Tunisia, go over either Gabon or uh, Burkina Faso, we have Senegal, Kivad, Mali, Equatorial Guinea actually waiting for us. For the Equatorial Guineans, uh, this is not female football, where they've actually um, um, uh, rose astronomically. This is still, they are still um, not there with the, with the other with, teams. With the, and with, the, with the, the, the Malians are traditional Afghan team. They might not have won it, uh, but they always do well when it comes to AFCON. And they have the added advantage of uh, uh, the World Cup draws uh, also going for them. Uh, we've not talked about Cameroon, uh, the host and Comoros. Yes. Uh, on paper, is the David and Goliath battle. 
And given the fact that um, the Comoros team have not been helped by the Comoros, um, COVID, are the Comoros, the Comoros, uh, Ghana. Two, one, 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 one goalkeeper is injured. Two other um, uh, listed uh, goalkeepers have tested positive um, uh, for COVID. So they don't have a, 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 a keeper who would actually be in goal. Probably they might use an outfit player as um, a, a goalkeeper. I think there's supposed to be a provision and in this team. <clears throat> Calf, because made, of... Calf made it clear before the beginning of the tournament. Yeah. Once you have um, uh, 11 uh, players who tests um, uh, negative for COVID, yeah. the match must go on, and the match will go okay, on. That's why some countries went with four goalkeepers. Yeah, but I think uh, with this situation, they can apply for a waiver. Because honestly, I've been losing your three goalkeepers. Yes. This is the second time I've ever I think they said there's a special uh, that we, 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 where they, they, they can sit on it and decide mm, your they case. Can, they should, I think they should I think they can, they can apply. And, uh, let, let because see, it's a, it, 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 it is not automatic. But you can look at it, if you have an unusual case in this. If you have, you, you said the match can go on. Once you have eleven players, eleven outside players. Mm -hmm. But now we are starting a special case where all goalkeepers that you brought in, mm -hmm. maybe because by taking it from twenty three to twenty eight. We had a opportunity of increasing your goalkeepers from three to four. Four. So you if you have, have, if you should, if, if, if you have if, not if, done if, that, if, also, if you didn't take that, then, uh, that opportunity, or that, or that window that was open, that was open for yeah. you. Then again, I for Cal, without granting them that uh, waiver, you will be sort of uh, devaluing this competition. This is, and this, this is our this, prime this is, competition. This is the most important match in the history of uh, Comoros Island. Uh, and so, unfortunately, um, uh, COVID, COVID has not uh, been, been uh, fair but, to them. But let's see if, if, if a uh, calf, calf, calf might say, okay, fine, bring in, bring in, bring in a goalkeeper. Uh, if, they, they can, if, they can, if they apply and make, make a case, they should be like, we want to have a match and not a mismatch. Absolutely. That, that, the, that, the, the, the match that, is coming up tomorrow. Goalkeeping, we, we, goalkeeping we, we, is a specialization. Yes. Any outfit player can play in anywhere. 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 But when it comes to, uh, I mean, the technique of flying and stopping, anticipating crosses and stuff like that, uh, it's not every, everybody yeah, that can everybody. do that. It's so basically, that is why they say they give them that particular time, see, even give them protection within their area. And so you don't just have, an outfit player can come in probably during a, 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 a play, have a few matches. And to that's go. what I was going to. Yeah. So in, in the in the course of play. If you lose your uh, your goalkeeper, we've seen cases where outfit uh, players have gone to. That, that <laughs> no, is that when you've exhausted your all the exactly when you're mm. when, uh, when you're you going. not. I mean, you are you, you are, you are, are down to whatever. You just you, you you send one outfit player out, and then you bring in the goalkeeper. goalkeeper. So basically, we, uh, we expect that uh, humanity still reigns, not the rules. <laughs> that that is just to me. I believe the rules are made for man and not man for rules. So when it comes, like I said, it has to be competition. And yeah. then I don't even think that the Cameroonians would object. Calf, calf yes. envisaged all, all this, and that's why uh, they came up with a, a lot of rules with respect to COVID, and now uh, it, it, it should be applied in cases like this. So, like you said, let's, let's, wait, um, let's, let's await the decision if the Comoros happen. Island actually so, do apply. Uh, the, the Super Eagles today, uh, that will be by uh, 8 p.m. <laughs> we start our quest for our fourth, you know, our, our fourth title. That's exactly what we are seeing here. Uh, we won it three times. We won it in 1980, we won it in 1994. I'm uh, also in the South Africa in 2013 uh, to pick our third title. So this is the fourth one. And also uh, in, in you know, Roving Rande in history, because uh, the man who was the captain was the man who won us our third one in 2013. And his vice, who, also, who was even the standing captain in the final, is the one who's prosecuting this one. So they say, continue there. Now, Nigerians are saying, look, Go by the Eguavoy. Uh, uh, what you did in that particular final is what we want you to do here. All right. So I want to go on a very short break. Uh, uh, when we come back, we shall look at, we'll talk about the Nile Rain and we shall look about that fixture with Ghana. And most importantly, we, shall, we are going to open the lines and you join the discussion. Stay with us. <laughs> you will come back. It's the channel spot on Sunday. And then uh, uh, we'll go back to that, uh, 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 vi that video you watched, because that is the end of the video. You're going to see the, you know, uh, the beginning of the video where uh, the, the, the uh, uh, central bank uh, uh, governor did promise uh, uh, the players those dollars you know, coming from their group, the Kakovit, Kakovit uh, uh, group. So, uh, uh, gentlemen, before we go back to football, uh, of course, uh, the, the, in, in the uh, uh, Bonson Bonner right there, let's look at uh, what is happening in Australia. Uh, we, 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 we spoke a lot about the Djokovic uh, issue, but right now Djokovic looks a bit like his history. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then uh, <laughs> during the week, we also hear it. It's not, I think that story is not yet. The Djokovic might have gone, but it's like it, it has developed a kind of a diplomatic uh, row uh, yeah. a, a between uh, 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 both countries. Because we're hearing that you know, uh, an Australian company's license was, uh, was revoked. revoked. 
uh, by the Serbian government, you know, during during you know, du du during the week. We shall get on top of that. We shall get on top of that, you know, uh, and get, uh, maybe as that story develops, we shall bring it. We shall bring it to the fans. Um, let's go straight to the World Cup uh, 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 qualifiers. Let's see how, how we are, I mean, uh, how we, anticipation. Like I said, we, I, I told me, I will, sometimes, why, 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 why don't you, just, sometimes we still want to play. Maybe we we'll just leave it and allow this thing to happen. I, I, want, I didn't want to play Ghana. No matter how bad Ghana is, I didn't want to play Ghana. And then, a gent gentlemen, it happened. Uh, what, what do we do? Yeah, I think the, the only time we've never lost sleep over Ghana was um, in Rio 2000. To World Cup yes. when they came to, uh, they were in crisis, so they were not even contender. It was Nigeria and Liberia. Nigeria. They came to uh, Port Harcourt. Uh, we walloped them and also paid them their match bonus. But outside that, uh, we have not, Ghana has never been the school in the park for us. And that is why what Ghanaians are doing is to bring out their to hate. And yeah. the margin, the margin is, <laughs> is like the identity <laughs> of, of uh, the elderly. Because, uh, <laughs> So, because, uh, Ghana, we are, we are supposed to be cousins, uh, but they've always had uh, the upper hand. Champions League in Africa, AFCON. Uh, so, where it matters most, they have our numbers. But now, you talk about, don't talk about the history, talk about the present, don't talk about the past. Uh, presently, they don't stand any chance. With the commotion, in Ghana now, they'll tell you that the Milo van has gone. That is, they serve their coach. Yes. Uh, so, for now, Ghanaian football is in a crisis. So, I think we should just exploit that between March 23rd and March 29th and kick them out. So, okay, my, my, my take on that is this. Current form um, uh, really counts for some for, matches. For, for, for debbies. For debbies. <laughs> any match between Nigeria and Ghana, forget the uh, current form of any of those teams. They go in there and they, they, they give it their whole. Uh, Ghanaians are... Uh, I, I be written in paint with their exit from the uh, Afcon and the way it has actually come. They were humiliated. That's, 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 that's the, uh, even uh, putting it in a very, very uh, minor way. <laughs> minor way. <laughs> I, 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 so now they will have their eye on the big one, which is the World Cup. And that's a very, very uh, tricky one. The first leg will happen in Ghana, while the second leg will be played in Nigeria. And like you said, we're perennial rivals. Uh, they've always had um, the upper hand. Uh, I pray the Super Eagles goes on to win uh, this AFCON and that should put us in a very, very strong position. But uh, it, it's very, very tricky and that's why a lot of us are actually apprehensive. I'm not, I wasn't looking forward to having uh, yeah. Ghana, having Egypt or having uh, Ca Cameroon. But it is what it is to be the best in the world. You must play against the best and you must come out tops uh, uh, for you to actually call yourself a, a, a worthy champion. So we see uh, uh, how it goes. If you look at the uh, uh, draws for that uh, particular third round of the World Cup happening between March 23rd to 29th, you will see that there are, there are no uh, uh, small tips here. Whichever yeah. uh, team you draw here, you must put in the work for you to be able to make it to the World Cup. Okay, uh, but, but, uh, we'll still talk about Ghana, but let's just go through this first. Uh, uh, you can see uh, Egypt, Senegal. One, between uh, Sadio Mane and Mo Salah, one of them will miss. And one of them will wish both, the other one Both will. of them were in uh, Russia and nothing <laughs> spectacular. No, no, I'm talking about, you see, because both no, of them are in their team. Yeah, I'm both, talking about the Liverpool duo yes, as well. Both, both yeah. of them were in, yeah, were in yeah, Russia. Yeah, that Russia was, that, that, that was the angle I'm looking at. It yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Yeah, the, yeah, both uh, Liverpool players were in Russia. Yeah, so so what, one of them, so now in Russia it was Sal, Mani and Salah, but now it's either uh, Salah uh, or Mani. Yeah. So, uh, for, but for West African spirit, uh, the ECOWA spirit, I think I won the Senegalese. And I think they deserve they a deserve current it. form. They deserve to be... You know, in, in, uh, in Russia, they were knocked out on the basis of fair play. Yeah. They had more cars than the Japanese. the Japanese. Not that they were not brilliant. So uh, it's a team that we always do African proud when we go to the World Cup. And that is what we should focus on. We are not talking about CAF Champions League, where Al Ali and Zaman Lek would dominate. World Cup, the Egyptians, they've never been... Oh, uh, but, 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 exactly, so, but the Senegalese. You remember yes. that first game against France? Yes, That's 2002. That 2002 uh, World Cup. That, that, that was the Bruno, Bruno Metsu led <laughs> team. Yes. Bruno, Absolutely. I, you, you can't, there are certain coaches you don't forget. Mm. Flamboyant with his hair flying mm. all over. And, you know, Cameroon, uh, Cameroon, Nigeria. Cameroon. Another, another top draw yeah. uh, for me and them... Uh, 
Cameroonian football is just coming back from the doldrums again. Mm -hmm. Uh, like we they said, they won. They won. They won the half come in 2017. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not disputing the. They have a champ, a fecal food president that knows, that knows about and, the and that and, and we, we, are, we are still awaiting his so impact. They, and we can they, already they, see it on the team. That match is between the past two winners of Afcon and the Super Eagles knocked both of them out from Russia 2018. Okay, all right. Both teams, both Cameroon, teams, Russia, Cameroon, uh, uh, Cameroon, okay, Nigeria. Now our group. So yeah. which of them? <laughs> <laughs> Which of that do you think do you, do you think will progress? Yeah, the, 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 I, I, I'll, I'll go for the Cameroonians this time around. And the volley or raise the the Algerian when it comes to, aside from eighty two where they were um, unduly robbed and it was even their case that brought back playing last set of matches at, same, the, same at time. the same time. Same time. Because so, Ghana, Ghana uh, uh, Germany and uh, uh, Austria they played it again. The same <laughs> the same, the same father, the, the, okay, the same mother but different fathers. Different mother. <laughs> So I think that was the shame of us. Uh, all right, okay. Uh, uh, let's briefly, we'll come back to the but let's briefly uh, uh, take, we'll see what happened uh, earlier this morning because uh, uh, Francis Ngannou, Francis Ngannou took on his, you know, his, his former best friend uh, uh, in Cyril Ghani. And then uh, that, for the, for the first two rounds of that match, my, my I, I don't know, I think my, my heart was in my mouth. But we have the man, we have the expert, the man who understands it more than anybody here in this country. Uh, uh, when, it, when it comes, you know, uh, to, to, to the fight, whether it is in, in, in the uh, room square, in the octagon, anywhere, he gives it to you and he gives you the details. Wake him up any point and I'm confident that, yes, he's going to give it to me. Uh, 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 we have Tunde Koeki. Tunde, Tunde uh, uh, at a point, I thought you were not watching. Then I said, let's see what you were dropping. Tunde, uh, uh, were, you, were you half as afraid as I was? You know, uh, in those first two rounds in that fight. Um, good, uh, good morning, Ken. Good morning to your guys in the studio. Good morning to yeah. Nigeria. Um, to be honest, I was even more afraid even before the fight started. Not to even talk about the first two rounds. Um, Cyril Gan is, without the shade of doubt, the most dangerous, the most technically astute, the most uh, fluid heavyweight in the division now and the most dangerous opponent that Francis Ngannou has ever faced. The fact that he could, you know, dismantle him the way he did and show new tools in his box that we've never seen before is credit to the phenomenon that Francis Ngannou is. Um, and when those first two rounds went the way they did, I confess I was very, very scared. I thought if they continued this way, this was just going to be Cyril Gan just winning this by majority decision, by unanimous decision, on points. Because I honestly didn't think that Gan had the, the knockout power to take out a juggernaut like Francis Ngannou. But Ngannou dug deep, dug himself. This was this is similar to going 2-0 down, then coming back to win 3-2 in a football game. This is exactly what Francis Ngannou did. He lost those first two rounds. No doubt about it, in my own opinion. He wasn't overtly dominant, but Cyril Gan did exactly what he needed to do, chipping away at him, striking from distance, landing where a lot of his significant strikes, and ensuring that you know he kept him at bay. His defense uh, against that atomic bomb of a right hand of uh, Francis Ngannou was absolutely perfect. Throughout the five rounds, uh, Ngannou couldn't land that major right hand significantly, and that was what helped him throughout this particular fight. But credit to Ngannou again, I must say it again, the fact that he showed a different side to him, he showed a wrestling side to him, he showed a grappling side to him, he showed a, a jiu-jitsu side to him that we've never seen before. before. And he, that, that helped him to overcome Cyril Gan. And you must remember that the fact that after this fight, he told us that he had torn his uh, immediate uh, his immediate collateral ligament and also damaged his ACL, that's his anterior cushion ligament as well. If you know anything about those injuries, the fact that he could start, not to talk of even fight, is an absolute miracle. So, congratulations to, to uh, Francis Ngannou. I, I, I don't know what to say, but he's an awesome, awesome fighter. Uh, 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 let, let, I, I, I know we, we are still talking about those first two rounds. But then, when, when Ngannou started going wrestling, when, he, when, he, when he, he started going for those takedowns, which were not part of what where he used to be, how uh, 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 his pretoria, you know, of things he has in his armory. <laughs> when he started doing that today, today, I was, was shocked. <laughs> you okay? I was completely shocked. I was stunned. I was wondering, oh, is this Ngannou or somebody yeah. else? I was, I was shocked. I mean, he went, Ngannou shot four for five takedowns. 
That's incredible. I've never seen him do that many takedowns in a single fight, but he did it. And that was the key. Because in those those two those takedowns in the third and fourth round were particularly key. And the fact that you know he managed to slip out of um Gan's uh, uh grasp in that fifth round when he had the foothold, everybody yeah. thought it was over that you know Gan was going to tap. But Gan made a, made a small error which allowed Ngannou to slip out and mount him. And that was exactly what happened. But, you know, it, it's, it, it's incredible. The fact that um, Ngannou showed a different side. Everybody thought that, look, this man just has one tool in his armory. He walks forward and he smashes you. Game over. But the fact that he could show a wrestling, jiu-jitsu background, a grappling background was incredible. I, I'd never seen anything like that. And also, you must also respect what Francis Ngannou did in this fight. This is... This is the first time that he has gone the distance and won. The last three occasions that he went the, he went the distance with any fighter, he lost by a decision. Yes. But he, he went, the, he went the, the, the full five rounds, the total distance with someone, and someone as adept, someone as technically astute, technically good as Cyril Gan, and managed to dig in and show a tremendous engine. I mean, hats off to this man. And he, he's just a phenomenal fighter. And it, it, it scares me because he shows that he's capable of much, much more. And I'm wondering, what exactly, what else is he hiding? What else is he hiding as the <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, uh, briefly describe that turn, that that that, when, when that turnover. He was down. Uh, 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 Cyril had him down. He was almost trying to you know uh, trying to tap out. And the next thing he turned over. Can you describe what happened? Can you describe how the in fact the crowd everybody was shocked the way he did the way he went, uh, uh, he, he was able to maneuver out of that grip and then find himself on top again and then uh, at, at, at at top Cyril. Can you still describe what happened there? It still, it still boils down to what I said earlier on about how, you know, Francis Ngannou is an extraordinarily powerful man. I don't know how else to explain it. The fact that he had, you know, uh, an MCL and an ACL injury, he, could, he shouldn't even be able to walk. Yet, I'm thinking, and from what I'm thinking, I think it was that same, no, was it the right? You know, walk, I think it was the other, was the other leg yes. that Ngannou, that uh, uh, grabbed. It was yes. one that I think that suffered that fight would have been over. But the fact that with the tremendous pain that he was feeling, he managed to subdue that and he managed to also ensure that he had the presence of mind to be able to overcome that pain and slip out of Gans' grasp is testament to the normal physical strength that this man has. I mean, Gans is six foot four, the same man as him, weighs 200 and, uh, what, 247 pounds. That's not a small man. But the way he was ragdolling him like, like a child... It was it was it was stunning, and th these kind of people. The only way you can keep someone like Francis and Gandu down, I'm sorry, you, either you hit him with a trailer, or you <laughs> you smash him with a pajama, or you shoot him. Those are the only ways I can think that you can stop a man like Fra Francis and Gandu because the power differential is just too much. I, I and I'm wondering how many people can can withstand a man like this for for three rounds, not to let not to talk of five. But credit was also go to Cyril Gandu again. In tremendous credit must go to him. The fact that you know he couldn't, um, he, he had really no no defense against the takedowns um, must be said. But the fact that he managed to negate that incredible right hand of um, Cyril and Dan Gan oh. must also be high. Throughout that fight, he was looking for it. He couldn't get it. Fought at a distance. Ensured that even when he closed the distance, his, his guard was up, never down. So that you know, Gan couldn't sneak in that 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 lethal right hand. Credit more. I, I, I'm applauding Cyril Gan for the fact that he could go five rounds without eating one of those sledgehammer right hands. My God, he's he's. But one thing I know that Cyril Gan will be definitely back. He's not going anywhere. Okay. Uh, 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 finally, uh, uh, sum this up for us. Uh, uh, before he went, before he entered into the octagon. Kamoru, Kamoru went there, whispered to him, and after he won, Kamoru walked in there and said, the evolution. Like, what, 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 what is evolving here? What, what is evolving? <laughs> Do the world evolving? <laughs> he's, he's, um, that's what he's saying, that, you know, Francis Ngannou is evolving. Everybody just thinks that this is one man that goes around swinging that sledgehammer of the right hand. But he showed them that now he has evolved to bring in new tricks into his arsenal. The fact that he's a, he's, he's a formidable grappler, that his, his takedown defense is also su is superb as well. The fact that he also has jujitsu. I mean, he got in, he was put in some really uncompromising positions, and yeah, he managed to slip out, out, out of them as well. And I mean, 
he, he's, he's phenomenal. He's the first man in history to take down Cyril Gunn. Nobody has ever done that before in Gunn's entire history. Yeah, he did it. That's credit to him. So and he did it four I, times. I'm saying right now, what this man has done in this in that in this particular fight cannot be can, cannot be overlooked. But also, I have to look at the fact that what does where does he go from here? His um, UFC contract is up. Uh, there's talk that he might not renew. He's also talked about the fact that he himself might also go into heavyweight boxing. He's called out the likes of uh, Tyson Fury that he'd like to face them. I mean, the, the, the world is his oyster now. Anything can happen. But the truth is, boxing is a very different sport from, from, uh, from MMA. I don't know if he has what it takes to survive in that, uh, in that, uh, in that arena. But I'm sure that there'll be a lot of people who'll be strapping into their seats watching what, what's next for Francis Ngannou. Yes, yeah, you, you just summed it up for now. The world is his oyster today. Uh, uh, let's, let's, let's keep it there until I wake you up again early in the morning to let you know that, yes, another fight is up. <laughs> Thanks, Tunde. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, 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 man, man, that fight, that fight, that fight was a fight. Uh, I, I, <laughs> sometimes the, the lines are open. I'm sorry. I, I, I would have told you this before that the lines are open. You guys can join the show. Let us know who is going to, no, not who is going to win. I don't want to ask that question. Who is going to win to Nigeria and Tunisia? That is sacrilegious. I can't ask that. What is the score? What will be the score line when you join this discussion? What is going to be the score line between Nigeria and Tunisia? Uh, because uh, somebody said, Ken, are you, not, you are a presenter. You are not supposed to be partial. Nigeria is playing. I should not be partial. Wait, wait, wait. What should I think of having we're, that? We're, we're, we're lying to your allegiance. <laughs> please, please, please. Just let us know, uh, uh, you know, uh, what, you, what you think the score, is, the score line is going to be. Uh, would Nigeria, Nigeria, Ghana, of course, is, 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 is a long, is a, we still have till March. We'll be yes. talking about that as that one is developing. But then today's Nigeria, Tunisia, how do you... Uh, um, how do you think? I mean, how do you think it's going to go? Uh, uh, let us let us know that. What is your score line? And then let us let us see. I mean, octopuses we have out there. Uh, but before 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 we uh, do, I mean, probably we can just take this. Uh, um, uh, Ghana has sacked their coach, and then they, you know there was a, there was a, there was a, there was a statement from the uh, uh, from the um, the, mini, the minister of youth and sports, the minister of youth and sports, uh, before he was sacked. You know, the, the, the ministry said, uh, we cannot sack him, we wouldn't employ him, but Effie, you guys should send this guy <laughs> to go, uh, gentlemen. As, as the politics played. <laughs> yes. Uh, when it's time to, for, for the FA to yeah. be accountable, yes. the stormy block is uh, FIFA, FIFA interference. Yes. But when it's time for the FA to collect, Mo collect money, money <laughs> from the ministry, there is no FIFA interference. interference. And of course... Uh, Government money is yes. not money, is not free fund. Okay. You have to be accountable. So, uh, yeah, as Dio, Dio is Dio. on the line. Hello, Dio, how are you? Good afternoon, okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, last time I called on the, I called on the studio, I told you that I said that this forest society will spring surprises. Yeah, you, exactly. you did, did. Me. But uh, well, you see, you see, you see, you see, Ali, you see, Ali. Yeah. But I saw about I can bet to you with the current eagles, these young current eagles, they will do something. They are make already they are making Nigeria proud. And yeah. I know Tunisia cannot be an exception. They will defeat Tunisia. Either okay. two either two o or two one. Either two either okay, two, two zero or two one. All right, Dio. I can show you of that. Okay. The only two, problem zero. the only okay. problem with the is the attack is because we don't see somebody like Osime. Osime Somebody like a cement with measles in that attack. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes. Uh, yes. No, but I know today, today by 8 p.m. By 8 p.m. That I know. <laughs> that boy, I won't eat. That Awuni. boy will perform today. He yes. will call to me today. Thank you. And Thank I know you, this Dio. current ego. This current ego will surprise many people. Pleasant, Thank pleasant you. surprise. Thank you very much, Dio. Thank, yeah. Thank you. Okay, uh, Dio says two two zero or two one. I mean, uh, it's, it, I'm not saying I'm not going to uh, conscript anybody on what you want to say, but I'm, I've just said my own that I'm a Nigerian to <laughs> to just know where my allegiance lies. Oh, I mean, give it me is the not sugar bar treatment. You don't know <laughs> <laughs> anywhere. I'm a Nigerian, so that is what we are talking about here. I wonder. So don't come and tell me that somebody else is going to win because. If, if, they are play, if England I am, is... I, I, I am not telling them what to say. I'm so, not telling them what to say. But they should not tell you that <laughs> somebody else will win. <laughs>
<laughs> well, okay, uh, is is a match. Um, yeah. Honestly, Tunisians. Uh, no, for me yeah. personally, yes. people talk about Cameroon. The only team I derive joy in beating is Tunisia. Okay. And because they stopped off from 86 World Cup. All right. So they've not been that uh, brilliant. Tell me, tell me on the line. Ah, from Ikorodu. Hello, hello yeah, Tokwe, how are you? Good afternoon. Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. My name is Tokwe for Ikorodu. Okay. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I just want to say uh, Nigeria will win uh, uh, Tunisia 2-0 today. 2-0? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And so we shall, yeah. we shall come to Ikurudu. Is it a Greek or where are you, are you in Ikurudu? Where? Where do you stay in Ikurudu? Or do what? 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 Or do Okay. Okay. In your, in your is. Okay. You put the yam and then you pound it. That is what you should have said now. You, have, you pound the yam in the Kurudu. We shall pound that yam and use fresh fish to celebrate at the end of today. Let us get it done. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Odunguyo. All Again, right. You see, like I said at the beginning of the show, yes, yeah. uh, uh, the Super Eagles, three games uh, out of three. I'm just uh, looking at what the Tunisians, uh, what they've done in the group stages. I, I, I think Nigeria should uh, easily win this. But don't, don't forget the fact that we have never trailed in this competition. We're not going to trail. I'm not saying we're going to trail. Uh, I know. Don't, don't test us. <laughs> <laughs> no. That shall not tell. <laughs> I'm not saying, you see, I understand. You, you have understand. to put everything on the table. So, uh, again, uh, yeah. we don't pray for a situation where they get a goal and sit on it. You know, this is not African. <laughs> and they will now start no. their de they, 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 those are delaying. Uh, and and I, want to, mm. I want to mm. frustrate you. Mm. Yes. Myself mm. and Opel, we were discussing a particular uh, match. Uh, uh, was it against uh, the James, uh, James Peter side Peter. in 1991? 19... 91. 91. Where they frustrated that Munique to the extent that. <laughs> that was uh, Cameroon. Yeah, Cameroon. So, what I'm saying in the sense is, we, we, we know, let's, let's try and get that early goal. Let's get and that. And at least, let, let's not be tested. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kendi is calling us from Ogun State. Hello, Kendi. Kendi, how sir. are you? How are you? Kendi, how are uh, you? Fine, sir. Fine, sir. All right, go on. Oh, oh uh, I love uh, the way Nigeria is. Uh, Explain uh, their tactics. Okay. So, and um, it's a uh, 3 1. 3 1. Ah, yes. Okay. Sir. All right. Uh, are, you, are you a prophet? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I just, uh, no, Tunisia is not, it, 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 uh, they, are, they are not uh, just one thing like that, but we, we make Nigeria proud, sir. Okay. Yeah. What of Tayyip? Is Tayyip is there with you? No. <laughs> Tires not there. Yes, yes. Is it a male or a female? Yes, she's a female. She's a female. Oh, she play she played ball better than you. Look at you are shaking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Kendi. Kendi says it's gonna be a three one. Says it's gonna be a three one. All we want is a win for Nigeria. Yeah. Today. But we're, we're, it doesn't matter whether it's happening. In, 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 in Afcon, technically we have never lost to the Tunisians. The only, the, when they beat us, it was on penalty, and you don't count that. It's a draw. Okay. So and that is if, only if you, if you win the trophy by penalty, don't carry it. To <laughs> so no, no, official. No, I'm saying official. Okay, in, 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 in the cap uh, record, uh, we, we have never them, lost. Uh, uh, you, in um, Nigeria and Ghana, yeah. when the Kweba scored those two goals, we beat the opening match 4 2. Okay. That's so we fact. have never had problem with the Tunisians. And even with the excellent Tunisian side, when it comes to Afcon, and this Tunisian side is that, not, that, 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 uh, it's, very, it's, very it's middleweight. Exactly. It's middleweight. middleweight. Okay, middleweight. Yes, yes. I don't see them posting a, a, okay. a, a problem. Okay. Uh, if we get our tactics All right. right, I want to go on a very short break. When we come back, the heavyweights will still be in the house. Stay with us. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is the dollar, dollar rain, but in the equivalent of Ni Naira equivalent of dollar rain. Is it? Or is it dollar equivalent of Naira rain? Okay, is dollar equivalent of naira? Naira equivalent of any? Anyway, it doesn't really matter whether you, it is dollar or naira or dollar. Or, just understand that the rain, the rain, eh, is going, it's going to pour. It's not so they're just starting to, and that's the thing. But I hope this do not be a distraction. Thank God, the, 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 it is given to the team, not to the scorer of the team. Because why they will say if you score a goal and they start creating that uh, element of selfishness and then uh, individual individualism within the team, but it's a collective effort. If you like, be the one to score all the goals. The money will go round to everybody. 
everybody will just score. Just go and score. Create the goal and score it. That's what we are saying here. Allen, uh, 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 Allen, 50 million is there waiting for you. Uh, $250,000 from hotel is waiting for you. This was every goal at the plenary stage, $20,000 per goal. Knock out from today, every goal is $50,000. Don't go and take dollar, it will be in Naira. Jimmy, you're welcome to the show. Yeah, very pleasure to be here. Happy yeah. to see Nigeria do so well. Um, I recollect before the competition, a lot of people had actually expressed uh, pessimism at uh, chances. But I also recollect that some of our, you know, calling guests also made mention of the fact that they believe that the Super Eagles could do well. And uh, as much as possible, we should not clamor for foreign-based uh, uh, gaffers. So, again, let's state it as clearly as possible. Here on this set, okay. we want no more foreign-based coaches. We want our own. We need to buy Nigerian and we should not dollarize the Nigerian football team. Okay, let's 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 go to Abuja. Let's go to Abuja. Uh, uh, because Peter. Peter is there. Hello, Peter. Sir, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, I am Peter from Abuja. Yes, we know. Yeah, this uh, match is going to be very, very convenient because I have all the confidence that Nigeria is going to win. Two. Okay. Go on. Two one against Two, one. Tunisia. Okay, all right. Two one against Tunisia. Yeah. Okay. Did did you where you were? Check, did did you check who scored the goals? Did you check any of the strikers or just? Hello? Did you check any of our any of our strikers? Did you see uh, maybe Awoni or maybe Moses Simon or somebody's going to score the goal? You didn't. But you saw the final score. Oh no, I, I can't predict who actually <laughs> scored anyway. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> Peter, I'm just put, I'm not pulling your leg. I know, I know you're, 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 you're not I'm a woman. Sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. Two one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Peter. Thank you very much. Peter says it's going to be two one. Uh, uh, we are moving there. Okay. Uh, so why still on this? Uh, let's let's yeah, bring for, for, yeah. for the dollar in. I think yeah. um, the presence of the CBN governor is not every day you see the CBN governor. So yeah. his presence is even more important than the cash. Yeah, mm. and now I think we should also bring this into perspective. Um, this is the same national team that the players were being owed allowances, my bonuses. Yes, yeah. And again, uh, we have the female, the Falcon, Super Falcons, yeah. who are always, um, almost always being owed. So we should tend to, and uh, good. This was not in the dressing room, which yeah. was one which day we exactly, yeah. call. Um, against for Amar Judah. It will happen again. Don't, don't desegregate the dressing room for the Eagles. Yeah. So this was uh, fine. It's taking place where it's taking place. But again, uh, we should be more pro-tournament than in the midst of, of tournament. The boys don't actually uh, need... But, uh, but uh, okay, I mean, let, let's look at this. We've okay. always talked let, about let, where, where awards and rewards. Let's, let's take Aminu. So policy, you. okay. Yeah, Aminu is in Lagos here. Yeah. Hello, Aminu. Aminu, how are you? Yeah. Fine, thank you, sir. Yeah. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, Amine. Go on. Hello? Go on, go on, go on. Speak up. I'm predicting 3-1 in favor of Super Eagles. 3-1 in favor of Super Eagles. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you, Amine. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll keep up this things. By, so that when we call by next week, all of you will know those of you that are really... Uh, octo octopus, either is octopus, I mean octopus, Peter, all, you know. Which other animal was predicting that time? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We've almost forgotten all. <laughs> oh, no. It's been long, 2010. It's been, it's yeah. been long. I don't think there was much now. of that in 2018. After 20, 20, there was 2014, there was in 2018. It was not as prominent, was not as, as, prominent as that. Yeah, they started from China. You know, the, the original, there was one that was eating, uh, is it, whatever, they would drop what is food. Yeah, they would drop food to go ahead. There was even, uh, I remember now. Then again, I, one, one hmm. thing, you know, uh, on the funny side, uh, when uh, Liverpool beat uh, God that miraculous recovery against Barcelona, yeah. Salah mm -hmm. and Anderson had their baby almost on the same day. Yeah. The CBN governor has not factored that should Eagles win this Afcon against Cameroon, let yeah. me be clear, there will mm. be baby boom in November. Okay, there will well, be baby boom in November. <laughs> should Eagles beat Cameroon Wait. in the final, there will be baby boom. Uh, We've seen a, in a, we have a, gener okay. yes, a yeah. generation. Yes, okay. I've seen a lot of Cameroonian pains from 84 in Afcon. Okay, so we are, well, we'll, we'll be celebrating. <laughs> okay, but uh, you, Jimmy, take, about... take it up from where he's talking. Yeah. I, I wanted to look at that. Mm. He said something which is very instructive, that 
I mean, uh, uh, this dollar, the money is coming in. It's coming yeah. at the middle of a tournament. tournament I yeah. mean, uh, COVID is there. They have all this money. If they, they, they are, yeah. We have our, our Falcons who are yeah, yeah. start the fund. We have a situation where even and the can, coach, Let's not even make yeah. it um, like um, it's about football. It should be about all sports. All what sp exactly do we do to be proactive and not reactive? It yeah. looks like this is being reactive at this point in time. We could talk about ambush marketing, but right now it looks like they are reacting. Now they are making us proud. Let's leverage on that. But they should do more pro you know, before the tournament, let them get active. Let them support this team and ensure what exactly is happening to your allowances. What exactly is happening, happening to the coach? Are you guys okay? What, what exactly do we need? Where do we need to intervene? Where do we need to come in and try and give you support? And not only for football. How many times have we seen um, this kind of intervention when it's about other sports? In basketball, we didn't have it. Till tomorrow, we don't know what has happened. Uh, the allowances of the ladies that complained, are they all been settled? No, right, right now we know that COVID is existing. Exactly. They so we can only catch them. They are now known. Yes. So we now know where we want to go. But, 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 but again, uh, to, to recap, to retweet yeah. what Ken said last yeah. week when he quoted uh, the list and, 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 and to that when you cheer, when the goal is called, you are, being, you are reacting yeah, to him. Definitely. But when you cheer before, before the goal is called, exactly. you are a fan. Definitely. So, and that is what we yeah, want you are, from you, the sponsor. You are helping to initiate, to to motive, initiate, to initiate and actually let it, and let it happen. Mm. Okay, let's come, let's come back home. Like we are saying, a charity does not start from abroad. It's not in, just in Cameroon, but Lobby stars today. Uh, they will be taking on Aimba. Uh, Jimmy, can you look at those... Um, uh, uh, this, okay, show him, give him yours. So, okay. um, Lobby Stars will be playing against him, but um, Aqua that United is, will be host. NPFL, 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 yes. NPFL, yeah. Aqua United will be playing host to Sunshine Stars. Play 2 United will be away at Wiki Tourist. Dakada will be away at Abia Warriors. Cano Pillars will be hosting MFM. Nasara United will okay. host Katsina United. Atlan will be away at Rivers United on Monday. And also, uh, Gombe United will host on Monday, Niger Tornadoes. On Wednesday, we'll be having games, Quara United against Shooting Stars. And Rangers will be hosting uh, Remo Stars on Wednesday. All right, let's go to Plateau because we have Emmanuel there waiting for us. Hello, Emmanuel. No. Ah, we've lost, we've lost the call. Emmanuel, we are sorry. We're trying just to take in that Can, one. Um, Remo Stars and see have see been doing very well. Um, yeah. 17 points out of a uh, possible... Um, 21. They really have been very, very impressive young boys mixed with, you know, um, more experienced campaigners. And also the likes of Rivers United also, they have really uh, been imperious. Uh, Rangers are really, you know, and um, I think we, we need to now? talk about uh, many, the which, loss of which, the GM of 3 SC. We are week eight now, week eight. right now. Week eight, week eight, okay. eight yes. Yeah. And Ra Rafi Shaq is uh, my goal scorer. He's been doing, doing very well. I think his goals now. And um, I think I like the sound bites from... Uh, the indemnities of the ref is being actually uh, paid direct from source and all that. And I think if you continue to have this, it okay. would be better for the... All right, let's, 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 go, let's go up. Let's go away. Let's go to London because we have Femi waiting for us. Hello, Femi. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Uh, the, 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 my prediction is just 1-0. One 1-0. Zero. One zero. In, in, in favor, yeah. who is winning the 1-0? It was super, super late. <laughs> That's what we want to hear. Because when you say one zero, we are thinking that it was the other the other people. I I'm not mentioning names. But we're not here no, the same. No, 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 no. I, I mean I can't I can't give my country and support the uh, uh, Tunisia. <laughs> okay, Femi. That would okay. be wider. <laughs> so yeah, so you to you we are going to beat by one just one zero. Uh, Femi, yeah, I used to one zero, okay. Yeah. Okay, one zero. Thank you. All right, all right. Thank you very much, Femi. Femi kept it short there. He be, said Nigeria be, by one before zero. the start of the competition, um, outright odds had Nigeria at probably seventh to win the title. Um, Nigeria alongside uh, Morocco, the likes of Tunisia, Cote d'Ivoire, Senegal, Egypt, Algeria, they were all rated higher than Nigeria. But right now, it looks like a Nigeria Cameroon affair ahead of the likes of Senegal. So it says a lot about where we have come from, and we can only thank the Super Eagles and the coach and the consortium for, you know, instilling confidence in the Did Nigerian, you, you know, uh, course. Let's okay. buy Nigerian. Let's do Nigerian. We can just, you know, achieve if we believe in our own. Regardless of what happens, even if they don't win the trophy, they've shown enough reason why we should believe in ourselves. Patrice Monsignor actually did say something about instilling confidence in the African people. And it starts from now. You see what has happened uh, and, to Ghana, uh, sacking Ravenna. Most likely they will, you know, on board another... I think that uh, they are looking at Joy, uh, Joy Boateng. 
the, that would, that the would former Dutch international, yeah. Dutch international of Ghana descent. Yeah. And uh, e e Guavon has never been a flash in the pan. Yeah. While yes. he was there in 2006, in 2006 uh, the only stumbling block for him was Ghana. The Ghana, same Ghana. Same Ghana, yeah. Uh, so, and he's coming back and uh, uh, he has never given us any cause to, uh, to doubt his, uh, his capacity. And Ken, when he talks about the techniques, the tactics, he talks the way you want him to talk. He talks about the philosophy, the playing pattern, the things you want to hear from your coach. He says the right things at the right time. And I think that the fact that he's working closely with his team and there are no issues, he's calling them his partners and they seem to be working in the same direction. Egbavoy has always been humble. I remember yes. I, we interviewed him in 2004 For, yeah. when he was still the assistant to Keshi. Keshi yeah. And he... Oh, for over five, six, seven times he made, talked about. Uh, 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 he was working with uh, uh, Chuku. Chuku. He Chuku never then. said Chuku. He said my boss. Boss. Mm -hmm. My boss. My boss. He was referring to Chuku as my boss. So it tells you that you know he's, 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 that humility, it's there. that humbleness. I that think, even as a player, he's always there. always yeah. displayed this maturity. Yeah, yeah. Even as a yeah. player. Even when he was being played out of position initially. No, yeah. I mean, can imagine right him when he was when he kept captain. He asked. He asked Keshi to come and the Tunisian team. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go to a lorry. We have a boogie. 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 Okay. I like I love your name. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Hello Boogie, how are you? <laughs> Bobby, yeah, this is Bobby from a lorry. Okay. This is Bobby, Bobby, G B O B I. Bobby. Yeah, yeah. Okay, remove the I as if you are spelling a Bobby. So if you remove yeah, I, what Bobby, remains yeah. is Bobby. Bobby. Fine. Uh -huh. The name comes from that uh, name when I was playing football. <laughs> Okay. Maybe oh, he I... came from Igobi. You see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gobi, how are you? Yeah, thank you very much. Yes. Uh, I came, I called the, your first uh, your first program this year. Yeah. <laughs> you, are you hearing me? Yes. Yes. Very clear. Yeah. Very your clear. first program this year. Uh, I said Razak. The people don't even know much about Razak, but I'm giving you my nickname, which is Gobi, which everybody knows. You know. Okay. However, I told you that time that uh, we need we, we don't need we need to be very patient with a guavon to let us see what he can do. Yeah. Now we are seeing it, so there's no need for us to to to, to employ the service of uh, Jose Pereiro. <laughs> so that is what I want to tell you. That my prediction <laughs> is two zero. Two <laughs> zero. Uh, we are we are hearing from so we are hearing some whispers. They said they have not signed any they, contract exactly, with any foreign coach. Exactly. They are whispers okay. now. Uh, yeah. they are whispers. <laughs> but when, when those whispers <laughs> come out, we shall let you know now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, thank you, Bobby. I like that. Right. He said the name came from Ibobi e when he was playing ball. I thought he was not claiming people's name. But he mentioned Pereiro. He's not Pereiro. He mentioned He's not Pereiro. He's not He did mention it. Okay, uh, uh, let, let's just take... Uh, 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 APL a little bit. Um, Manchester City, I mean, the, the 13, 13, 13, 13 was not a lucky yeah, number for them. For them. Uh, they, they won 12 in a row. 12 in a row. 12 point lead. I mean, 12 point Though lead. Though we took uh, two games outstanding for Liverpool. For Liverpool. But I mean, they, they've got to be very contented with what How many horse races? It, it looks like two horse races? It, it uh, has to be. Because Chelsea be. now... Chelsea, they have been very inconsistent. The results uh, have not been coming. rescued themselves from that uh, being a contender. Yeah. Okay. So it's more... They rescued Liverpool. themselves. Yes. <laughs> 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 they are comfortable in being in that top four. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Liverpool, uh, you saw what they did in um, their semi-final against yeah. Arsenal. So, yeah. And by the time the final will be played... Uh, the money and Salah will be will, back, will be we'll back. Be. and also for the should outstanding, back. we should send them back. You know, home. Yeah, <laughs> there will be break <laughs> next week. There will be like two week break, oh, man. and these are not going to party. Oh, and oh, they... Even the one that the, that arrived early, early in that particular <laughs> match went there to have collect a red card. <laughs> Hey, party. I think about that thing. Eh? Yeah. I, I, I want to see. You mentioned. I know you also mentioned. You, you, you chipped in in that discussion. Mm. I want to see where African players will finish playing their match that day and immediately, and, and immediately fly to. You know, so what you know, fly down, down and then go down, straight to straight camp to, and represent the team. Go to the yeah. party. They will be the, 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 the play the match. Says a lot about they, his commitment. The following day, he flew down yeah, there, yeah, went but, back and straight yeah. into the team, and that, that, but, is, but, that is commitment. And you also yeah. have to feel for the likes of Mendy. Yeah. With all of the coronavirus issues and yeah, all that. Yeah, and he's uh, just there. He's still there, stranded. Stranded. Let's let's see what is going to happen to him. Let's see what is going to happen to him. 
And like we said in the Australian Open, uh, uh, it is all going well. Before we went on air, before we came on air, it was uh, Ashley Bartley also getting to the quarterfinals. Finals, yeah. Uh, uh, the big, some of the big ones big are ones moving are already... on. Uh, but now the number one seed in for the male and the number number three seed are all uh, out. Yeah. Uh, uh, Djokovic was Djokovic, out yeah. by two shorts. Zverev is out. Zverev is out. That league made Vedev there. Nadal, Nadal has been cruising. I said, you know, my, you know, my, yes. my, the fourth Manor. round, it was yeah. I, I think they the took him to. Yeah. The, the fourth round, the, fourth round. the okay. third yeah. round. Okay. Fourth round. So it yeah. was he, he sweated for that victory. Yeah, a against um, Manarino in the fourth set, he actually dominated the second and the third so, set. Yeah. And you so know, it, it, was was very, it was seven six. It was very very convincing. You yeah. know, the tie breaks was you know massive, eighteen minutes and all that. And I think that Nadal would actually okay. be in contention. It would be strictly uh, strictly between Nadal and Medvedev. Okay. Yeah, I I wish the Super Eagles well. They should water, watch out for the antics of the Tunisians, but they win with a two uh, goal margin. All right. Uh, there's certain times when they say something, I don't know what to add. I I, I just Super Eagles, just 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 to, just, just win, just thank win today, just, just win. Okay, I'm thanking you in advance. I'm Ken Ochenogo. Have a blessed Sunday. Mm.